Hi guys, welcome back to our channel. I'm Sasha and I'm Nicola. Today we have a bit of a different video for you guys. You may or may not know that we are both design students so we thought we would try to show a bit more of that on our channel. We've seen some other designers do videos similar to this so I thought it would be fun to put our own little spin on it. So in today's video we've set ourselves a little challenge to design a brand from scratch in just like a few hours while mm -hmm. we're sitting here. So obviously it's a big task but we have a brief that we're working off and we've kind of come up with a bit of a concept in our minds because we're working on this project together mm -hmm. so hopefully we can get it done and make yeah. something really cool. We'll see by the end of the video. Yeah. We haven't really done a challenge like this before mm -hmm. so it will be interesting to see how we work together on this project. We can't wait to share more of designing and stuff on our channel because it's something that we both love to do so mm -hmm. Hopefully you guys enjoy watching these kinds of videos as well. So we're just going to get started and we'll take you guys along with us through the design process. So we follow this account on Instagram, they're called Brief Club and they post all these really cool design briefs um, and each week they like pick out a winner as well. Um, so we looked through their account and we found some of their older briefs. Um, so we are doing a brief for a company called Beauty Ritual, who are a makeup subscription box that require a logo and packaging elements. Um, we just thought this one sounded really fun. It's kind of um, like a fun idea, like a makeup subscription box. It's like something that I would love to see mm -hmm. come to life. And yeah, I feel like that's why we were kind of drawn to it and mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah, suits that's kind of how our sort of design work, so I thought that would be a good one to start off with. So we picked out this brief, I think, yesterday, and mm -hmm. we've been thinking about it since, so we haven't, like, just started thinking about it. We've had some time to discuss it together and, like, <laughs> kind of figure out if we're on the same page aesthetic-wise or what kind of brand we're going to turn it into. Mm -hmm. Um, but the next step is we're going to make a mood board so that we kind of can envision the visual style um, and like the look and feel of this brand because we don't really know anything else mm -hmm. about it except that it's a makeup subscription box so yeah. that could be like anything so yeah. we're going to like narrow it down and Very make broad. it yeah make it really cool make it ours yeah all right so i've got my laptop here um we're just going to work on the same one for now since we're like making the mood board together anyway yeah. um and where are we going to look for photos? We usually use We Heart It. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's like our favorite website for looking for images and stuff. Mm -hmm. I much prefer it to Pinterest. I think Pinterest yeah. is kind of annoying for me because it's very, um, like the algorithm just shows you yeah. the same stuff over and over. It can get Tailors it to you very much. But We Heart It is a little bit more broad. Like you see a lot of quite random yeah. sort of stuff. And you kind um, of have to search yeah. for the good stuff, which yeah. is kind of what I like. So we're just going to make a little bit of a mood board with some pictures that sort of have the essence of what we're going for, I guess. So we've collected just a bunch of images that kind of spoke to us, I guess, um, for the aesthetic that we're both kind of going for. Um, so we're just putting them together and we will see how well they work together. Things like the colours, which typefaces we like, um, and what sort of imagery we kind of want for the brand. Yeah, I think we just need to like narrow it down a mm -hmm. bit because it's always easy to like start really broad and that's probably a good thing. And then you can like narrow it down. Yeah, so and then we'll apply it to the branding of course, so like the logo that we'll design. So, mm -hmm. so we've got like, what are the images that are coming through mm -hmm. right now? It's kind of like summary. Obviously like self-care and like pampering a little bit because it's makeup. Mm -hmm. like. It might be makeup and skincare. Yeah, I yeah, I think um, it will be. But I think obviously we mix. can like make it whatever it is. But I think yeah. it would be good if it's like we want it to be like a box subscription where you get like makeup and skincare, like mm -hmm. really fun, luxurious products, like yeah. say every month. And yeah, it should be like I think the brand should feel really special. Mm -hmm. I started thinking about hotels um, because. Yeah obviously they're very luxurious places you go there for a bit of pampering um nicola found this picture of um a pool that looks like it's in like a spa or like a really nice hotel um and then we've got this picture of a bed up the top as well and oh this one in the middle we've got um like a, a room key not a room key like a do like not disturb yeah. kind of sign i really like that i, I like the aesthetic of that yeah. yeah and like the idea so of a hotel kind of classic 
kind of we also had this idea of like a menu like a room service menu mm -hmm. kind room of room service could inspire kind of the type or like the style of the inside of the mm -hmm. box or like maybe the card that comes with it to tell you what all the products yeah. are it's like <laughs> you get the subscription box and it's like they're delivering you room service so they're like they yeah. bring you under like a gold platter yeah yeah so those are kind Ooh. of like the influences we're working with at the moment there's still a lot mm -hmm. but i think We've got a good amount to work with. Yeah, and um, we've also got a mix of like some designed elements, like there are some graphics and um, typography based images, and mm -hmm. then there are just like photos. Now that we've finished our mood board to start with, we're gonna start picking cololors. So this is like a fun part for me. Yeah, I like fun part. Nailing down the colors, it's always a bit tricky, a and I feel like I do always kind of change the colors around as I go further into the mm -hmm. process. Yeah, but we kind of have an idea of where we want to go with colors anyway. Mm -hmm. Um. Yeah, we want like kind of quite a mix of bright colours and neutrals. We want like so, a yeah. good amount of neutral colours mm -hmm. I think as bases and then like pops of colour that are really yeah. gonna like stand out and look youthful as well. I feel like when you see like fluorescent text mm -hmm. it's always like quite a youthful look. It's yeah. like edgy and fun. Because we're going for yeah. like classic and contemporary together, you yeah. know? Like old school hotel that... but like bold Modern text. Take on it. Yeah. yeah. So um, we're just going to start with like taking some colours from our mood board. So we've narrowed down a bit of a colour palette now. Um, it's got quite a few different colours in it, which is probably not the best, but we'll narrow them down even more when we start to apply them to like the logo and stuff. Yeah, um, once we can kind of see them working together, mm -hmm. I feel like yeah. that's when you can sort of like start to get your final colours, mm -hmm. but I think we've got a good idea now of yeah. where we kind of want to go. So now we're going to move on to finding Time. a typeface. Um, this is always finding really slash difficult. making. <laughs> yeah, Nicola thinks she's gonna sketch out some ideas. Yeah. I'm gonna have a look through the typefaces that I have to see if there's anything that we like enough. We want like something that's quite curvy and organic mm -hmm. feeling, but also a classic, like classic serif. and serifs. So yeah. we're gonna see if we can find anything that we could at least use it as a base to then manipulate the typeface. Mm -hmm and the shapes um, or I might just have to sketch something and work from that but we'll see what's possible. I'm gonna look through my fonts now. So thinking about the name Beauty Ritual as well, I'm thinking that we can have like um, like a logo sub mark that's like the B and the R for Beauty Ritual. Mm. I feel like B and R are both like really fun letter shapes. Yeah, you can do a lot with them. I yeah. Because right. we'll definitely come up like with a full word mark, but then also like our little sub mark that's just the B and the R. So yeah, I've just been doing a bunch of sketching of different <laughs> logo variations. So mm -hmm. this is mainly for like our submark logo, which is just going to be the B and the R initials from Beauty, Beauty Ritual. Ritual. And then we also have been looking at fonts for what we're going to use for the main logo, I think. Yeah, so yeah. the full name Beauty Ritual. So I've just scanned my sketches in and now I'm just going to like trace around them and try clean them up in Illustrator. Mm -hmm. And I am going to try um, play around with our colours and see which colours sort of suit each other best um, for the logo and the word mark. Mm -hmm. so, um, I am picturing it in yellow, but oh, really the ritual, like the full logo, would probably work. Wait, so what? Yellow on what? I'm not sure. Okay. I am picturing photography as being like mm. a good way of making images for the kind of brand. And like the box itself. We try the yellow on just like our beige neutral background. Hopefully the two colours go together well. It's alright, I think it needs to be hmm. maybe like a lighter yellow. What about the lighter beige? Or oh, actually that would be the yeah, opposite of what you want. <laughs> yeah, well it'll make that yellow look brighter than it is. I'm just experimenting a little bit with um, using two different typefaces. So one is almost a serif, um, and the other is like this really nice swirly. Like a cursive. <laughs> yeah, script font, right? Um, and so I've put that one over the other one, um, and I'm thinking about maybe like cutting the text up so it looks like it's above and underneath the other text, so that you can read both of them a bit better. Um, so that's just what I'm gonna practice here. 
gonna use like I think this is the knife tool and I'll just like slice through the letters in the spots where I want it visible and not do that for all of these letters and see how it looks. Alright, so we found um, a font that we really like online. Um, so we're just trying to tweak it a little bit for our um, submark with the B and the R. So Nicola's just adding some little serifs at the top of the letters, I think. Um, just so it's a little more classic. Yeah, but it's still like, quite curvy. Yeah, I think that's the thing that we want. It's more like that classic look. I think that's mm -hmm. why I didn't love this just as it is. So we're gonna try change that a little. Mm -hmm. And then maybe like add some more what curves the R or well? something. I'm not too sure, we'll see how Maybe just go. accentuate some of the curves because like the B and the R where they join. Yeah. Um, I don't know, I think they're quite nice. Maybe on the end of the R, extend that line. Mm. Let me see what I can do here. Bit on the right side of the R there, would that have like a bit of an extension? Um, maybe, I can see that working. Okay, and it's then not perfect, perfect. See see right now. Color. Hopefully we can see the effect it has. Mm -hmm. I feel like maybe we could draw that out and like make the edge of that thicker. Like, let me just really messily show you. Could even extend lower oh, or something or longer. <laughs> <laughs> maybe if you make it longer, like if it goes down. Actually, you know, maybe low. if, sorry, can I show you? What if this is like a big curve? Oh, maybe just that in, oh, like a bit blobby. Oh yeah. I kind of like that. Can we see it without? Mm -hmm. Oh, now it yeah. looks like it really stops short, doesn't mm -hmm. it? Like it needs that little extra length. Yeah, I quite like length. that. I mean, Maybe it's like adding the serif. Make it thicker up higher. Yeah. Just for a bit more like oh. sass, I feel like that's what it needs. It needs to be a bit sassy and fun and bit not of just like, Yeah. Much thicker, maybe. and it kind of grounds it as well, and it makes it feel a bit more organic when there's like thickness and then thin. Okay, so we've just manipulated the font a little bit um, to make our little word mark with the B and the R. It looks pretty cool right now. Um, so we've got it on this um, cloud background. Now we've just downloaded some mockups from the internet. Took There's lots of good websites, but yeah, so many. Took a while. But so many bad ones. ones as well. So yeah. it takes a while to trawl through all of the mockups and find good ones. Um, and also, we just wanted to get free ones because we're not like yeah. going to use these um, for a commercial project. So. Just wanted to find some good quality mock-ups. Also, we're looking for a specific kind of box for like the makeup subscription. It has to yeah. be like a box that you can open up. It does have so to we be found a good one for that, and we found yeah. a good one for some. I've got some duct like, tape here. We are going to now work on like finishing up how the sides of the box will look mm -hmm. and the front and everything, and then we'll apply them to these mock-ups. Yeah, pink is cute. Yeah, I'm not sure. I yeah. feel like it needs to be a bit lighter, or maybe even the green here green and blue can we do actually hmm what if i what about all the i mean i didn't want that text black like what if we did the text yeah. pink maybe I'll and then the, the yellow logo is going to go in the middle right um yeah i think i like it to be yellow in the middle mm. so let me try the text in pink is that it mm -hmm. text in pink yeah that's quite nice because it's just a soft Yeah, look. no, I was going to say, it's a bit hard to see, but it's and probably I think good because it's not meant to be like overpowering. I would um, wave that, like make it a wave. Like I'll do the, oh. what's mm. it called, and like just what? Like the horizontal. Yeah. Oh, that's really cute. Yeah, I like that. 15%? Yeah, sure. And like, what do you think what of it color? being black? Black is kind of nice, know. but probably. Can you try the brown? Oh yeah, in our palette. Oh, hold on, I need to go back into that text to make it a different oh, color. Do I'll go back to the color and I'll copy it. So that one? Yeah, I think. I feel I'm like not sure if I like that. need some black at some point. Because it's looking very light and I think you need some more dark. Oh, I kind of like brown though. 
Should I put it up there I twice? Like brown with pastels. I we should find something, something else, else up there. So it's like, I don't know, like a deal, like ten percent off, or six new products. Yeah. <gasps> or we should like have like March or like a products month. to fall in. Oh, a month. I don't know. Might be fun if it's a month because it'll be okay. like larger. What month? It could be like March. A P R for April. Oh, oh it okay, could okay. be larger text okay. or D E C. Let's look at what lens are nice. April, that's pretty. Yeah, yeah, I like the A. That's fun. D E C is too. Mm. They're a bit too like old fashioned, aren't they? April is nice. April's good. Yeah. <laughs> okay. April. That probably doesn't need to be wavy. Right. Yeah, probably mm. make it brown as well if you like yes. the brown. Okay. Or actually, yeah. So that way you could have like mm. April and twenty one yeah, like have one. fully justified kind of. Or you could have like twenty twenty one smaller than April and. That. I feel like it's cute if it's smaller. Yeah, me too. So, so like, what do you even do? though it's not April, what? It's September. Maybe September would be cute to try S that. Oh, what's the S like? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> but I would make S 2021. I don't love that. I like April. No. Yeah, okay. Well, the A is so pretty. Do you want to make 2021 the same width as April, though? Like, try that. Um, That's maybe. What I, was I mean, I kind of like it as it is, but let's try. Oh, oh, that is quite mm. cute. I think with the smaller 2021, it's easier to read. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> Both are cute though. I want to change the green here to Didn't like work. a darker color. I like that a lot better. Oh yeah, the dark brown. Yeah, sure. And, okay. This, I'm still it's not really too sure. Together, no. I feel like we could make it glow. Glow? Yeah. Okay, can I test something? So if I make yeah. this white, hmm. and then like white, I think blur. it should be like the tiniest tint pink, because otherwise it'll just look like the cloud. Oh yeah, we can totally make it a bit pink. So we're just finishing up the design for the lid of the box. Um, this is like the fun part. I love doing packaging, yeah. and I feel like <laughs> that just like. I would love to see this as a real product yeah, somewhere, it's same. just so fun. Well, what do you think? I like it better uh, white. A little bit light. Can you do an in-between? Okay. I like thinking, yeah, about like if I had this box, like what would I want it to look like if I had it in my hands? It's really fun. And would it feel special and... Yeah, exactly. Wow, I just want to go make this now. What do you think? I it's do okay. like it. I kind of feel like it can Doesn't be brought forward on top. Over the B and the R. Yeah. Actually, that's cute. Actually, I just like that. You can still obviously see the. No, I have an idea. What? Can I cut it? How? So that some of it goes over and some goes under? Yeah. Like How the U will go can... under. Oh, all yeah, of the yeah. U that's overlapping goes under and all of okay. the T goes over. Yeah, sure. So. This can be a bit confusing though sometimes. Oh, I know what I'll do. I'll just ungroup it. Oh, I like the word going under the ritual. What if it was like the first beauty is over and then ritual is under? Oh, that's cute as well. I might do you mind have if I more just try? of an effect? Like, fill them? Yeah, now they don't have that annoying line in the middle. Okay, they're connected properly now. So, oh. um,. Do we want all of beauty over? Yeah, maybe. So beauty, and then all of ritual under. So. Oh, uh, no, I'm not sure, actually. I just like how it goes through the R, though. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah, it's like over, through. Yeah, okay. Well, I think we're finished, then. Is that centered, that bit? It says makeup subscription. Ooh, I like it. Three hours later. So we've just spent a little more time finishing up our final designs for the box and all the other little accessories that we wanted to throw in there um, to show you guys. So here are our final designs. So we've marked them up in a couple different ways. 
um, just to showcase the design. Mm -hmm. This is always the best bit when yeah. you get to like actually see it and it looks like a real product. It's so much fun and like, mm -hmm. what's the word? Like, it's so. <laughs> It's always so rewarding to see the final product, especially when mm -hmm. we literally did this in only a few hours. I know. So I wasn't it's really expecting <laughs> it to turn out like this. Mm -hmm. It's always kind of tough to know what you can achieve in what yeah. like a short time frame. I think but that shows that you can get a lot done in a short amount of time. Whereas mm -hmm. like if this was like a project that you actually took on, you could take a lot longer with it. Yeah, and obviously it's we didn't perfect, do like research obviously. and all this yeah. other stuff. We just like cut all our ideas corners. together. So I think the final product really sort of shows like what we had in our vision board or mood board. Yeah. Um, it's very like pastel, um, kind of dreamy and yeah, a like, little bit like old fashioned and angelic. hotel like. Yeah. Like to me that's what Especially the type on the inside yeah. reminds me of like mm -hmm. a hotel kind of menu kind yeah, of style. Exactly. Like yeah, exactly. Yeah, set out to do. Um, so yeah, I'm really happy with it. So let us know down in the comments if you like the final design and how it turned out. Um, and if you want to see more videos like this, because we'd love to make it into like a little yes, series of a cute design series of videos. Things. Yeah, that would be really fun. Um, so yeah, thank you so much for watching. We really hope you guys enjoyed watching this as much as we enjoyed making it. Hopefully we'll see you in our next video. Bye! Bye.